Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am back today with another haul video. So I have some really cool things that I found at the 10 Pen Antique Mall where I actually have antique booths at and I wanted to show you what I got. So there actually is a new vendor there and when that happens, generally if they are completely new, you might be able to find some interesting things that are not priced properly. <laughs> so I did, I found some really cool things and then I'm also going to show you my vintage tea towel collection. So that might be a little lead in to what I am going to show you, linens. But first I have some miniatures, some little dollhouse miniatures that I picked up. So the entire bill that for everything was $22.32 and I will go ahead and show you that now what I got. So I found these really interesting miniatures and these were either, I think these were $3. There was two sets of miniatures that I bought little baggies and this set was probably the three dollar set so the one main reason why I grabbed it is because it had these cute little jello uh, things like little jello boxes I'll show you up close though so you can see but I have two jellos and then there's like a Lux uh, soap then we have like a little milk jug and I don't know what this is just like a bottle of something some beef flavored stuff, I think a Crisco, a watermelon, some carrots, uh, what is that, a radish or an onion? Yeah, pie, this is a cook on a cookbook, that's really cute. Ivory soap, very neat, and then this one's called Kame, that's another soap. And then this is a bottle of something green and small, like, I don't know what that would be, some kind of a spice. And then like a white carrot that's different so i bought all of those little figurines for i think three dollars and the jello ones were really interesting to me so obviously i don't need these things in my life i don't have a doll house i don't plan on having a doll house but for someone online i could probably sell these and i think well i'm not sure how much they'll go for like i said i paid three dollars for them i would hope that they're worth about 15 I've not done much research in dollhouse miniatures. I think that there's some money there, but I don't know for sure. These are all mostly kit, well, they're all kitchen kind of things. So I will do a little research on those, but I'm thinking that I can get about $15 for the bundle right there of the little miniatures. I think they're so cute. So that was the one set that I got. The other set of miniatures I got are also, I think, dollhouse size. Um, but I don't know if they're truly dollhouse. See, this stuff confuses me. I know with trains, you know, you have certain scales. So whenever you're buying things, you know the right, the correct scale. For I think dollhouse stuff, you just have to guess or maybe if it looks the correct size. So there's a couple things in here that are different. This is like a, I don't know if it's, it's not wood. It's some kind of a composite or a plastic. It's a chicken or yeah, chicken. And then there's another one here of a what looks like a turkey or something so there's those so yeah those are different and then this is an old antique style fire hydrant so cool it's red that's really neat it's metal so that caught my eye and then there's this old sewing machine and it is very neat too so it's like an antique sewing machine metal Another thing that grabbed my attention was this awesome Victrola, or Victrola, um, phonograph with that, with that horn on there. So cool. I like that a lot. The gold and the black. And then, I don't know, just like a cheap little bicycle with a, a heart seat on it. And then this is made to look like maybe pewter, but it's just plastic. It's a plastic silver horse. And then we have a, a post for maybe a like a ballast, a baluster. So there's that. And then this is like, I don't know what, just a plastic, uh, maybe porch or something to clip onto the side of a, a dollhouse. I, so this is sort of some random things here. I will probably group all these together and sell them as a set too. What they're worth, I would hope again, like $15, just for some of these things, like the phonograph, the hydrant, the sewing machine, Oh, and there's this little car. This is a model, no, this is a Ford Model T 1911. And it's 
so cool. It's actually, it, the wheels move and I think it's pretty cool. So I think with those, it'll help it along and for a nice, speedy, easy sale. So I thought those were pretty cool and I had to grab those. I thought that was a great price. Some people sell these individually and you could probably maybe get, I don't know, like $4 a piece for some of those. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't really wanna list a whole bunch of things that may or may not sell. So all together is I think where it's at. Okay, so I did get some vintage linens and I was so excited to find these. So I, like I said, my total was $22 and I'm gonna show you, actually I do know how much each of these were too, so that helps. And she put the, be the measurements on them. So that's like foolproof for me. I don't even really have to measure them. I will say though that vintage linens are one of those things that goes in my death pile because of the way that I photograph them. I clear the kitchen, the dining room table off and I lay them out that way and I do my photos so that I can get full shots of things. So they don't fit in my light box downstairs in the Etsy room, but yeah. So these are so cool. This one is made to look like this, I don't know, like a country kind of a vibe with the different seasonings and kitchen utensil, kitchen things and the color is amazing, pink and black. And we've got like this avocado green popping in and some blue, lovely, so cool. So yeah, this one measures 52 by 48. And then it says, has stains from being folded and then no repairs, etc. it says. The, the fold things so annoy me and I don't understand why things get lines just from being folded. I don't know if it's from the starch or what but they do they get these fold lines and I don't I don't think you're gonna be able to well no you're not but the lines are there and it's like this faint yellow kind of a, a yellow line from where it's folded whether or not that can be taken out I don't know this is starchy you can you know it's holding its shape pretty well so it's probably like a starch scenario I don't know what else would do that why the fibers would we decide to make a stain along the crease, but there's that one. This one is stunning, and it's actually, this is softer than that one, and then there's one that's really soft. But this one is 52 by 50, approximately. So cute, the little tag she did. Oh, oh close. And strawberries. I, this is amazing. So the two linens, one of, actually, um, yeah. Oh, did she? Oh, yeah. Maybe. So these were $4. The tablecloths were $4 a piece. So that one was four. This one was four. And this is just really cute. Uh, like I said, it's 45 by 50 approximately. There's no tags on these anymore. Somebody cut them off. So that stinks. But it's so cool. I love it. And I don't think I'm going to be keeping any of these, by the way. So they're all going to be for sale in one place or the other. I think they're going to go, all go online. I think they'll have the best chance of selling online. And they are probably going to be worth, or they're probably going to sell for at least $15. But um, I would say under $25. So $15 to $25 is, I think, where it's at on these. And I'm toying with the idea of actually photographing them a different way. Aaron's parents live out where there's a giant cornfield behind them. I just, I love where their house is. I just love that piece of land. But they have a really nice scenic backdrop of what I think would be really cool to do where I would hang these on their clothesline and take photos that way. I've, I've seen other Etsy sellers do this outdoor thing and in our current yard, we don't have it set up to be able to do that. Uh, we do have a clothesline. We have the clothesline posts, but because we put a shed right over there, we don't have the, we can't put the lines across. Otherwise you'd be ducking every single time. And I don't think the doors would even open on the shed. So yeah, not very good. And it's very cramped over there. The pictures would look terrible. Stella, don't bark. Come here. Don't bark. Be good. Okay, good. Stella. So, okay. 
I bought myself a tea towel. I love buying tea towels. I'm an absolute goober with them. So this one is stunning. And I paid, it was either three or four dollars. It's a, that's a great price I think for a tea towel. Look at that, look at the tulips. It's so perfect for Easter and spring, pink and purple. Look at those. So needless to say, this will not be sold online or in the booth, I will keep it. And I do wanna show you my tea towel collection. I won't be too quick, I won't be, <laughs> I won't be too long with it. I'll do that more towards, I have one more tablecloth and I'll get into that. But I will hang on to this, it's a very nice tea towel. And I've paid up for some tea towels. I mean, I've paid, well, up to like $10 for, for one. So, and this one is the softest, this tablecloth. It's 47 by 60 with no stains at all, which is great. Look at this. And I don't know if the color's truly coming across, but it's like a, it's turquoise. Turquoise and coral, or this very soft pink color, very similar to my wall over there that's painted. And then we have these retro leaves. See those in the white? Very, very cool. This fabric is so soft. It almost has a reflected, ref I don't know if that's what I'm trying to say. This bounce to it. Maybe it was washed with bounce. <laughs> I don't know, but it's very nice. So probably been fabric softened. The others are starched. <laughs> so very nice. I love that. This one might even, this would sell on the higher end, I think, because of the color and the way that it is. So maybe 25, 30 for this one. And like I said, the other one, since they do have some slight condition issues, probably realistically 20, 25, I hope for those, but certainly not below 15. Okay, the tea towel collection. So I'm gonna kind of breeze through my favorite ones. This one is so pretty. It has the roses on it with the red lattice. I mean, none of these are, I mean, a, a lot of these are in not perfect shape, but that's what you're going to get with vintage linens. So this one has a hole. I don't know if you can see it right there in the middle of the, I hope it's in the middle of the screen. So there's a, like a little a hole, but uh, it's in general great shape. And I love that one. That's a great one. This one, I'm not sure where I got it. It's just kind of a funny one. It says, which came first? It's like a chicken egg, 1970s kind of a thing. I generally stay away from the 70s ones that are more branded as 70, not branded as 70, but I, I like to get the ones that are more, oh, I guess in line with 40s, 50s, 60s, but I like that one because it's cute and it's just a good one for like an everyday use, uh, so that's neat. I did buy a good set of these online, like one set of these online that were all very similar to each other. This was one of them and they have this... Uh, Oh, I forget what that's called. The little Dutch, Dutch, little Dutch girl there. And it has these spring tulips all along the sides. And there we have the dance, the dancing Dutch people on the bottom. Amish, Amish Dutch, I think it's called. Yeah, that sounds right. Beautiful, I love that one. And then keeping up with that, there's this one. I think it was, yeah, this one was sold in the same set which I'm just surprised that I was able to get these. And I didn't pay much. I don't, I think there's like four that I bought all together and it was around 20. Those are beautiful. So it's like the same style, just different color combo. This one, I'm not sure if this one came with it or not, but it's pretty too. Has some limes and pears, pineapple. Isn't that beautiful? I love that one. What does it say? It says, I never actually read this. Fast colors, it says on there. Oh, made in Ireland. That's cool, I never read that. All pure linen, so it was on right on the seam here. It was written, it was kind of folded over. I would like to learn how to sew with a sewing machine, not by hand. I, do, I know how to do it by hand. Well, I don't know how to finish a stitch properly. <laughs> I can stitch just fine. It's just whenever you tie it off and that, I don't know how to do that properly. I would love to learn how to use a sewing machine though because I think whenever I buy these, like somebody mentioned it in a, the previous video that when you get these vintage tablecloths that are like really bad and they've got hold, multiple holes, you can cut them and get quite a number of tea towels out of them. 
And then you could sell the tea towels because people love those and they're useful. This one is another strawberry one. <clears throat> I, although I'd probably have trouble selling them once I made them into tea towels. Look at that. <clears throat> I love the strawberries on here. Beautiful. I would love to find an ivy, an ivy um, tea towel, <clears throat> but they're very hard to find. In fact, I, like I don't ever see them. Not any listed, not any sold. I did find one sold, it was years ago, and it was in a lot of tea towels. You can sometimes buy, <clears throat> why am I so hoarse? <clears throat> you can sometimes buy tea towels cheaply if you buy them in a lot. Okay, these, I am hesitant to show you, but I think I just should. It doesn't reflect any negative meaning in my life, obviously. But one of these actually was Aaron's mom's, and so I kept it. Well, actually, Aaron's maybe Aaron's grandma. So I really don't use these, and I'm not sure what to do with them. So they are black Americana. <clears throat> I cannot hardly talk. So this one is like, okay, there's this one here, like a mother and son, I guess. I, I don't know what, and they're just playing a banjo? Playing a banjo. So there's that one. It's like a country, like a country scene. Okay, so there's that. Like I said, I don't really use these. And then the other one that's pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> I like the colors a lot because it's blue. You know I like blue. This one, this one's a little bit more racially charged, I think, back in the day, because it features like a mammy style with the watermelon. And so I've tried doing research on that, figuring out what, what inherently is so bad about eating watermelon, but I think it has a lot to do with the time frame and what I've read, something about maybe watermelon being not nutritionally some, it was something about watermelons not being a nutritional, like nutritionally good for you. Like they're not really that great, but yet you eat them anyway. I don't know. I'm very confused by it. But I guess if I was a, alive during the time that they were using these kind of cartoons to represent things, maybe I would know. But because I'm not, I don't really know. This one is really cute. And it's this pink right here, pink with some little flowers on it. And I like that one a lot. This one shows a lot of wear, so, I mean, you can see it's been, like the color has been really going away on it from bleach and all that stuff. This one is really pretty. I like the red and the black. It's super retro. There it is. Love that one. A lot of these have, like, yellowing stains on them, and that's just, that's just the way that it is. It goes with the territory. Ooh, I like this one a lot, too. This one, I think I bought separately at a sale. I like this one a lot. It's a big, big, it's a, why would I say that? I was gonna say it's a big, big one. It's a big one. Um, seven, is that upside down? Oh, it is. It says 7-Eleven. It's like a lucky shamrock with a wishbone and little flowers. I like this one because it's certainly large. This almost is bigger than a natural tea towel would be. It's like, well, it's almost in, on the verge of like a child's square table, like a tablecloth or something. Maybe that's what it was. It's a StarTex, and I think that's a tea towel brand back in the day. It's just, I don't know. Could be a tablecloth for all I know, but I use it for a tea towel. This is another one that I like a lot. I feel like I said I was going to be fast and I'm not, but that's why it's at the end. You can watch it or you don't have to. Very cute. I love those apples on there. This one's a great one. Very nice. The thing about turning tablecloths into tea towels, I feel like you'd be able to tell. I mean, all of these are tea towels because of the way that the graphics are aligned on the towels themselves. Because, I mean, you obviously you have a border there and a border here. If this, if this was a tablecloth, you wouldn't have a border on one side because tablecloths aren't made that way. So I guess it depends on the type of, 
fabric you're working with, if it's one that has a defined border or if it's, you know, whatever. Here's another one of those. This is actually also in the, from that same set. This one has a blue bottom. So, so far we had like a yellow, a green, and a blue, and like a main color border, and then the centers are pretty much the same. I like this one a lot too because it is strawberries. This one has a tag still. Improves with use. Part linen, fiber content. It's 75 cotton, 25 linen. I love, I like this one a lot too. Again, it's obvious, it's obviously a tea towel because of the way that the border is not, the way that everything's just bordered nicely. So that's a definite tea towel. We're almost done. This one I like a lot, but I need to rehem it. It's apples. And I say that I need to rehem it, but I don't know how to use a sewing machine. <laughs> but as you can see, this side is, well, it's frayed really badly. This side is awful. And so is this side. And then there's the intact hem. So it's good and then it goes bad. <sighs> so yeah, that needs to probably be mended somehow and I don't know anybody that knows how to sew. So there's that. Yeah, I would have to learn how to sew and then get a sewing machine. But I feel like I could have fun with it. This one, meh, it's not my favorite. I don't know why I have it. It's kind of a stretchy material. It's just, this one was probably a tablecloth because look at the way it ends. It has this border. It ends without a border. That's the edge. No border over here. And then there's a border in the bottom. So this was obviously a tablecloth and it's super huge. It's not even the right size. So there's my table, my tea towel collection. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't just collect any old tea towel. I, I try to get ones that I really like and the ones I don't like I sell, but honestly, I don't know if I've sold any vintage tea towels I've come across. So uh, there's that. So anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye-bye.